Hey, if you haven't seen one of my recent videos where I told you there will be no new Macs in November, that's perfectly alright, cause many details I'll run through in this one. But let me properly unjust the intro into something more subtle. There will be no event nor new Apple products till the end of this year, and it's possible we may see nothing till spring of 2023. How's that? Hmm? Will you buy a new Mac now or you still prefer the wait for the new iteration next year? Please answer and comment below. Hi friends and welcome to Digital Mockings. My name is Marco and this is your dose of Apple news, leak information, tech rumors and reviews. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. This one is powered by Moft. Check out their awesome MacBook accessories and get a discount via Digital Markings. The link is in the description and the in common. Good folks from Moth have sent me world's first invisible graphene cooling stand. You may be surprised how lightweight and thin it is. 0.1 inches to be precise. Don't let this fool you since it can easily hold up to 11 pounds of weight. First, you will see that this thing is almost unnoticeable. Moth is still taking care of your posture and ergonomics with dual angle adjustments. The first one is 15 degree angle, which is my personal favorite due to its increased stability, while the second one, slightly taller, 25 degree option is available if that is what you prefer. This model features unique graphene based active and silent cooling technology. Moth lab results performed on four different laptops showcase temperature drop down between 5 and 8 degrees Celsius. Check it out! After a series of rumors and speculations, it seems that it's finally concluded that not only we will end up without a new keynote as suggested by Mark Gurman, but there will be nothing till the end of this year. With that said, no new MacBook Pro models, nor new Mac Mini, including upgraded chips like M2 Pro and M2 Max. Sadly, this fits perfectly to older prediction as seen in articles from previous months, where a much wider time frame has been given for the introduction of these devices, preaching all the way till the spring of 2023. This time, however, Gurman just confirmed the doubts. Based on Apple's quarterly earnings call statements by Apple CEO Tim Cook and Luca Maestri, chief financial officer, as both of them have called the day for Apple product releases till the end of this fiscal year. Now, before we go all crazy, there is actually a good side of all of this. First and foremost, Apple is not much known to release products in January or February, even if there were special events in the past, in 2006, in 2007, 2008, and 2010. So it's highly probable that the original prediction will once again be accurate and, as Gurman states in his latest newsletter, mid of March would likely be the date when we see these new Macs, or to be precise, March 13, or maybe March 20. But this spring keynote can easily be much bigger than we may guess, because beside new MacBooks, Mac Mini and all new Mac Pro, we could also get new iMac, iMac Pro, maybe even 15-inch MacBook Air and more. Next generation of MacBooks for professionals will not represent anything groundbreaking in terms of design and probably many of features. The same old 14-inch and 16-inch editions as seen in 2021. But if it all goes well and these devices end up introduced during this keynote, it means one important thing. The silicon that we were waiting for is much more impressive than the one that it succeeds. Not to mention we've been listening a lot about 3 nanometer processors for 2023, regardless if M2 is initially a product of 5 nanometers node. M2 Pro and M2 Max will in any case be powerful animals, which according to Mark Gurman could go up to 12 CPU cores, 38 GPU ones, and support for up to 64 gigs of unified system memory. The M2 Pro is also anticipated to power were one of the next Mac Mini models, while other one will get base M2. In both ways, this will mean the end of Intel on Mac Mini product line. Same as with MacBook Pro variants, Mac Mini will not showcase new design, as Ming Chi Kuo has stated earlier during the year. But the true strength will come in the form of M2 Extreme, which will be the heart and the soul of Apple's most powerful computer yet, the Mac Pro. 
Pro, another product which should put the nail in a coffin for Intel inside. Its silicon will be madness. Coming in 24 and 48 CPU core options with up to 152 graphics ones and up to 256 gigs of memory. Badass! But let me remind you, there are other potential products that can arrive in that moment too. The return of the iMac Pro has been speculated for 2023 and I could assume in internals similar to the MacBook Pro models, M2 Pro and M2 Max. This all-in-one for professionals has also been rumored with mini-LED, although some industry insiders have disregarded that as false. New speakers, better camera, more ports, and MagSafe are just some of the goodies that are to be expected. Contrary to Pro, mainstream iMac should not bring anything related to M2 Silicon, since as far as we've heard from other sources, they may simply jump to M3 right away. These models, along with anticipated 15-inch MacBook Air, in that case will not be introduced at the same time, but in October or November, which will be subject for some other story. Yet there are two products that could be wild cards for me at this March event. The next iPad mini, which even if it will be year and a half since the arrival of generation 6, is still uncertain and so far Apple hasn't been so eager to update it as frequently as other product line iterations. The other one, however, would be the new HomePod, the bigger one. I made a video about it already, so make sure to check it out. I'm certain as time is passing by, we will get more information, new leaks and rumors about everything. So stay tuned, subscribe, and enable all notifications. That would be all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, and if you can, please share this video. Thank you so much for watching this Tamakin channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.